the end of this video, you're going to have seven different ChatGPT hacks that you can implement today to start to be more productive, get more work done, and ultimately get better responses from ChatGPT. Because if you're not using these things, you're going to get left behind in 2025 compared to users that are using these things. Hack number one is that you can now take random chats here. For example, I looked up the average waitress salary in Florida. I can come over to these three dots and I can do a few things with it. For example, I can add it to a project like fixing my finances. Now, if I come into fixing my finances, we're going to see this chat within this project. And what this is going to do is this is going to help train this chat and this project to give me better responses. On top of that, let's say Amex statement money saving. Let's say I didn't want this one in here anymore. I could remove this from fixing my finances, or I could also rename it so that it's way easier for me to know exactly what this is about. Now that leads me directly into this next hack, which is going to be hack number two, and that is using projects on ChatGPT. Because if you aren't separating out what you're doing on ChatGPT into projects, you're not using ChatGPT to its full capability, and you're not getting as good answers as you could be getting. As you can see, I have several different projects set up here. I have one for fixing my finances, I have YouTube scripts, YouTube titles, YouTube thumbnails, new YouTube videos. Obviously, I am a full-time YouTuber, so that's the type of stuff that I have in here, and then I have personal finance stuff. For you, you might have work-related stuff, you might have life-related stuff, real estate investing, stock investing, you may have YouTube stuff also, but essentially, you wanna break out these different projects into the different paths in which you're using ChatGPT. For example, in fixing my finances, if we come into these instructions right here, I have here, I want you to act as my financial advisor that's gonna help audit my bills and help me save money. I am under extreme financial pressure to lower my bills and I need your help. Now I could have added more in there, but essentially you want to instruct ChatGPT with how it should act, how it should respond, and all things related to that. Now on top of that, you can add in different project files in here. Personally, what I did was I put in a bunch of my Amex bills. Now what you do is export all of your bank statements, all of your credit card statements, all of your investment account statements, put them all in here, and now ChatGPT is going to have all that information and can reference that information. Then in addition, to that, if you go throughout your random day, guess what you could do? You can now add things that are relevant. For example, I was looking up an ETF. This is going to be relevant for me to add into fixing my finances. So I am going to add this in here and you're going to be able to accumulate all that stuff so that you make ChatGPT hyper fixated on just this one thing that is going to allow you to get better responses no matter what you're doing. Trying to fix your diet, trying to train for a 5k, or even if you're also trying to fix your finances. Hack number three is if you come into a chat on ChatGPT and you use at, you could actually summon a bunch of different GPTs, any ones that you have used recently. For example, I have this viral video one, I have a video SEO one, I have a presentation one. And if you come down, you'll see that I have a bunch of them. This will also allow you to summon your own GPTs that you have created yourself. And if you don't know what GPTs are, if you come into explore up here, you could literally type in whatever you're trying to do. For example, let's say that I am trying to run better. I can type in running right here. And this is going to bring up a bunch of running related GPTs, for example, an adaptive running coach. And then what happens when you use this is you get prompted with different things. The creator of this GPT actually went ahead and did. For example, I want to run a 10K in less than 60 minutes. Being able to do that is going to be incredibly useful because if you're doing specific tasks on ChatGPT, you want to make sure that you're pulling down any GPTs that are going to be relevant to that because similar to projects, this is going to help give ChatGPT a better response because those GPTs have had tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and some of them, even millions of people enter chats in there. And guess what that means? That those GPTs are then trained on all that information, all that knowledge, so they know exactly how to respond to you. They know exactly what you're going to be looking for. And it's actually way better than just using the normal version of ChatGPT. Now, there are still four other hacks that we need to get into, but before we do that, I need to make sure that you smash the subscribe button. If you want to learn to get better with AI tools or learn exactly what AI tools you should be using to improve your life, increase your productivity, or even to be able to make some money online, I literally upload three videos a week that cover all of these topics and you are not going to want to miss them. Hack 
Hack number four, and this is going to be a complete game changer for 99% of you, is that you need to stop prompting ChatGPT and instead you need ChatGPT to prompt you. I'm sure that you've heard the term before, you don't know what you don't know. Well, guess what? ChatGPT doesn't know what it doesn't know unless you ask it what it doesn't know. So what I want you to start doing is I want you to tell it what your goal is and then I want you to ask ChatGPT to keep asking you questions until they have all of the information that they need to give you a good answer. Here's an example. So let's say that we have the following scenario. I say to ChatGPT, I'm currently 18 years old. I'm not sure if I should go to college, start working, pursue a vocational career, or what other options are available to me. I know that I'm not scared of hard work, but I don't want to waste time sitting in school for four years simply accumulating debt. Can you please keep asking me questions until you have enough information to help me decide what I should do? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the ChatGPT, and it is going to keep prompting me with questions, as opposed to just trying to give me an answer based on this, it is going to give me a bunch of different questions that I can answer. In fact, it's going to ask me about my interests and passions, skills and strengths, financial goals, risk tolerance for work style, education alternatives, and even what my long-term vision is. So now what I need to do is I need to go through and actually answer these. But what's actually more useful is I'm going to say, great, please ask them one at a time and don't be shy of adding additional questions if you need additional information. Again, so instead of just trying to get all the information that you could get from a single prompt, you should be doing this because this is going to teach ChatGPT way more than it needs to know. For example, what activities or subjects excite me the most? I love AI and I love making videos about how to grow on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm fascinated by technology. Now what it's going to do is it's going to say, great, I have that in my memory now. I need to know the answers to this question. This is going to keep going back and forth until they have the appropriate amount of responses from you. And as you can see, this just updated the memory right here. But there are still three other hacks that you need to be aware of, and they're only going to keep getting crazier and crazier. And if you're not doing these things, I cannot emphasize that enough, you're going to get left behind in 2025. So hack number five that 97% of people with ChatGPT didn't realize that they could do is they can actually come to Sora.com slash library, and now they can use ChatGPT to actually create videos. Now look at this. You can do several different things here. First and foremost, we could change it to how many different variations that this is going to give us. Secondly, we could change to the duration of video. We can change the quality of video that we're going to get. We can change the way it's going to be created. Do we need it 9 by 16? Do we need it landscape? Do we need it one-on-one? -on -one? We can also give a bunch of different presets here. We could click right here to be able to upload an image or a video for it to be able to change or for it to be able to base off of. And we can even come into storyboard right here, which is absolutely crazy. Essentially what you'll be able to do here is if you are making a five second video or a 20 second video or a 15 second video, you can control with storyboard what the first second looks like, what the scene should look like, or whatever you want it to look like. So instead of just prompting it with one thing, you can control what every second or every half second of your video is going to look like with all different prompts. So what I'm gonna prompt this with right here, I'm saying I'm creating a video about how AI is gonna take everybody's job. Can you please make a video that depicts that? So I'm gonna click right here, click create video, and boom, this just got added into the queue, and this is gonna go ahead and actually create this. And this is gonna be super useful if you're trying to create content on social media, if you wanna create memes for work, if you wanna just create something for a video presentation, or if you just wanna be able to depict things visually, because you have to remember, the far majority of people out there identify as a visual learner, which is why you want to make sure you're adding visuals like this into whatever you're doing whenever you're trying to teach somebody something, or if you're just trying to create some cool video or visual representation of something, or just be creative when it comes to using AI. Okay, so now what we could see here is this actually went through and this created a few different videos. So all we need to do is click on this and now we'll be able to see this video and we'll be able to do a bunch of different things here. So as you could see, there are a bunch of empty desks and instead of humans in those desks, they are now robots here. Now we can do several things here. For example, we can edit the prompt, we can recut this, we can remix it, we can blend it, we can loop it, or we could come into view story here. Now, 
what coming into view story here does is actually shows us what Sora was trying to create at each different second of this. And we can come in here and we can edit and change this. For example, I don't think that this video had enough movement in it, but if I come in and extend this to be one second and then change the next 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 second, guess what? Now I'm gonna have a way more interactive video. Hack number six is gonna be making sure that you don't bring too many biases into ChatGPT and the content that you are actually going to receive from it. So if I come up here, I come into settings, I move me out of the way right here, and then we come into personalization, we're gonna see in here memory. Now if we click on manage right here, we're gonna see a bunch of things. For example, I am not 18 years old, so I'm gonna go through and I'm going to forget this because otherwise ChatGPT is going to Take that into consideration with everything that they tell me, and that would be wrong. So you need to make sure that you go through here periodically. I wouldn't do it every day, but I would go through this on a weekly basis, a bi-weekly basis, and make sure that you're deleting a lot of memory. Now, if you're ever going to do something and you don't want ChatGPT to save any of the memory, or you don't want ChatGPT to remember whatever you told it, kind of like an incognito window, what you would want to do is you want to click up here to open up a new chat. You want to click on here and then go to temporary chat right here. Now this is gonna give you a chat that won't appear in your memory, it won't use or create memories, and it won't be used to train their model. So essentially you would use this for anything that you don't want ChatGPT to remember, you don't want it to learn, and you don't want it to be searchable with in your history here. Which brings me to the last and most important ChatGPT hack for 2025. You wanna make sure that you come into here and you want to make sure that you click on customize ChatGPT. Now what you're gonna be able to do is add in custom instructions. For example, where are you based? What do you do for work? What are your hobbies and interests? What subjects can you talk about for hours? What are some goals that you have? In addition to that, you want to be telling ChatGPT how you want it to respond. Should it be formal? Should it be casual? Should it be long? Should it be short? How do you want to be addressed? And should ChatGPT have opinions on topics or remain neutral? And if we scroll down, you'll also be able to put in here different capabilities that you want ChatGPT to have. I would make sure that you turn all four of these on. And this is going to completely change what type of responses ChatGPT gives you and what kind of biases ChatGPT brings to the table. Because obviously, these LLMs are going to be biased. All of them are. So you need to make sure that you combat that so that it can give you the best responses possible and have as much information and context about you as possible. Because if you are not customizing your chat GPT, you are going to get left behind in 2025. In addition to that though, you need to make sure that you aren't only relying on ChatGPT. I actually think Gemini 2.0 is way better than ChatGPT, which is exactly why I created this video right here that shows you 11 different hacks that you can use with Gemini today that are going to make you more productive, wide, make more money, and just ultimately improve your life. What are you waiting for? I'll see you over there.